Look at this little guy. I just gave him some food. He was given the drugs about 12 hours ago. And he's, he's pretty alert now. He's doing pretty good, ain't ya? By the way, hello everyone and welcome to uh, Friday. If it looks like I'm in the same clothes, that's because I am. I was up for a pretty long time because I wanted to keep an eye on him. So I was keeping an eye on him and I was just working on some stuff. And then um, at some point I decided to, he was down here and I didn't want to move him. So I just slept on the couch with him because he needs med at 6 a.m. And it's 6 a.m. So I gave him meds, gave him a little food. Um, the feeder went off at some point and he didn't go up and get it. So I'm going to lead him upstairs so he sees that. Yeah, he needed, he needed uh, meds at six. Um, now that he's a little more alert, I think he'll follow me upstairs and I can, I'm going to go sleep in bed. Um, he gets his next set of um, stuff. I'm just making sure he got his pill. <laughs> he gets his next set of meds at nine. So in three hours. So you can go upstairs. Come on. Come here. You can go upstairs. Do you? Things have went pretty well. Um, he's, he's done well. He used his litter box, although only to pee. He's pooped on the floor three times. He's never pooped on the floor. Um, like sometimes you'll find poop on the floor, but it's because like he gets stuck to his butt when he jumps, like he jumps out of the box and then it might not like detach. Just cat ownership things. People that own cats know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but this is different. Like he just like went and like, like I watched him do it. <laughs> I watched him poop on the floor in the living room and then in the get in the bathroom and then up in his bathroom and I cleaned it up and God knows I'd rather him poop on the floor than pee. It's way easier to clean up poop. Um, it's just so bizarre. Like I, I, I guess... I mean, he was really drugged at the time. I don't know if he was confused or if it was just like too much effort or what. I don't know. I'll see what happens today. Okay. Where are you at? You want to go upstairs? Huh? You want to go upstairs? Let's go upstairs. Um, so I can like sleep in a real bed for a while. I've certainly had a, um interesting morning because I, I really did. I stayed up so late. <laughs> um... And then I had to wake up at six, give him food. I woke up at nine, or not food. I woke up at six, gave him pills, woke up nine, gave him pills. And then at that point, you know, I'm still, I'm still exhausted. And I was like, I'm just going to let him dictate when he wakes me up and I'll feed him. So um, he chose 11. So it's it's 11 and he just woke me up, got me up. And um, I, uh, I gave him, I gave him food, he kept his... I mean, I haven't spent a lot of time with him since the medicine worn off, but like Kep seems pretty normal, which um, is great. That's super great. It's But it's also just a little bit different than I guess what I was expecting, especially based on what the vet was talking about. Um, I mean, not exactly, I guess, but the vet had talked about like how, you know, he would he would be a little slower, he'd slow down. And like, maybe that's true. Right. But as far as like him being his normal self, he seems very much his normal self in the little time I've spent with him. Um, I am exhausted, not only from staying up, but also from like not sleeping well for like two days. Um, and I'm really trying to, to recover now that he's home and like he's he seems to be doing OK. I feel like my body can finally relax and it's allowing me to sleep and I hate to feel like I'm sleeping through the day, but I'm exhausted. I, I, I've been, I, I, I've pushed myself so far, both physically and mentally that I'm, I'm just, I've, I've kind of crashed and I'm probably going to keep sleeping a little bit. Um, yeah, but he's, he's doing, he's doing fine. The, you know, I get up and I check on him or give him his pills or whatever. And like, he's doing, he's doing fine. So I'm feeling so much better. I was worried. I mean, I knew last night he was drugged, but like, it really seems like he's doing okay. 
it's just been a stressful few days, man. Really stressful few days. So I'm gonna I'm gonna lay back down again. I can feel my body just like need, needing sleep. At some point soon I'll, I'll wake up for, for Rio and I'll, I'll get some food and hang out with him and see how that's going. Hi, pal. Good boy. Hi, sweetie. I know. I know. I'm glad you're home, too. You're a sweet thing. You just had a lot of love left to give, didn't you? Hmm? Good boy. I slept until, um... Did I film already? I don't even remember. <laughs> I slept. Oh, okay. I slept until two. Um, I've just been so exhausted, and I'm still trying to keep track of his breaths. I gave him food. He's on special food. He's on um, uh, renal diet prescription food. Um, and they had been giving him wet, and um, when Chaz went to the vet with me. Um, he had, Chaz was like, I have some of the dry version because he had had to get it for Venser a few months ago. So Chaz gave me that. So I, um, I've been giving him both the wet and the dry. He seems to like it, which is good. It's supposed to help his kidneys. Um, I've been counting his breaths. Um, He's a happy cat and very excited. You know, whenever like whenever I show up, he gets really happy, which is wonderful, you know? Like, that's very, that's great. But he can breathe real hard and fast whenever he's happy. And I'm trying to keep him calm, and sometimes that's a little difficult. Like, whenever I, uh, whenever I, I got up, he was on his chair out here like he normally is. And he saw me and he jumped down and he started like purring real, real hard. And I was, uh, I had been, you know, trying to count his breaths and then he started kneading. So he was, he was in the bathroom and he was kneading the carpet and purring. He was just purring so loud. And I was counting his breaths and I'm like, buddy, you can't, you can't get this excited. You know, because he was, and I'm counting them, and I'm like, you're you're hitting like eighty. You're not supposed to exceed thirty to thirty-five. You know, you have to calm down. You gotta calm down. And I know you're happy. Even this right here is too many. When he's like fully relaxed, he's okay. And he loves people, he loves me. But you have to try and stay calm, pal. He's not great at that. Because he likes to be happy and he likes to purr. Yeah, it's okay. You're gonna live longer if you calm down. It is Friday. Um, I'm going to go downstairs and have a little lunch. Um, based on how he's doing, I think uh, I'm still going to do the stream tonight. I was planning on doing um, continuation of Mario RPG with Haley. I was kind of waiting to see, like... How, like, what kind of care and attention does he need? Like, is he going to be, am I going to really need to keep an eye on him all, at all times? And and it, it doesn't seem like that's the case. I mean, I slept. Um, I slept a, a good long time. I got up occasionally to, to either give him pills or check on him. But, like, he was doing fine. And in some ways, and I hate to, I hate to say this, but in some ways it almost seems better for me to you know, interact with him a little bit less just because he gets so excited. Like, eventually he calms down, you know. 
but like when first seeing me, he gets, you know, real excited and wants to breathe real hard. So I'm trying to, trying to keep him calm, but he seems, he seems okay. Like in, in terms of, I, I'm, I'm not worried like I was before I got him home about whether or not I could do that. I think it'll be fine. In fact, it might be better because, um, we'll be nearby so he'll feel comfortable, but he'll be able to relax on his own because that's usually how streams go. So in some ways it might be better for him because I'm not directly interacting with him, but he's calm because he knows that I'm, I'm nearby him. So yeah, I think maybe that's the play. So anyway, Haley will be over here a little bit later. I need to, I have some work I, I got to do and I need to get a shower, but um, we're still keeping on, keeping on. Mal made a vet appointment with his normal vet for next week, so that's the next big thing is, you know, getting him there safely and letting his his normal vet take a look at him and um, figure out what the best next step is. When I had gotten home from Japan, um, you know, he had been on the, the steroid for a while now, and uh, his stomach was not squishing like it had been. Like it had been making the squishing noises a lot and um, he had like pretty greatly diminished. And uh, obviously now he's been off of the steroid for a few days because that's bad, he can't be on that. And I've started to hear a little bit of the squishing again. So it's just, it's just this reminder that, you know, he's got two pretty big problems and they're at odds with each other. And, um, you know, I, I don't, I don't know what the plan's going to be moving forward. You know, what the vet's going to want to do. So we will find out. Hopefully there's, uh, some way we can treat everything we can treat while keeping him comfortable and happy and calm. So we have to keep him have to keep him a little calm. It's okay. God, you're too happy of a cat, Kepler. You're too happy. We love to see him drink. It's very good. It's very, very good. One of the things about Kep, he's always really loved to drink, so it's only going to help him. I'm sure I'm going to have some people ask me about work and like, you know, either how can you work or why would you want to work or, you know, like doing streams and stuff. And you, one of the things you have to understand is that, um, I mean, for one... <laughs> It is our job, right? Like we have no idea how long Kepler will be around. He could be around an entire year. Like you you're not gonna just sit around and do nothing for a year. But then the other thing is that when we resume normal activities, it helps things feel more normal. And that is a huge benefit to us. Like being able to say, it's Friday, I'm gonna do a stream. Um, helps me worry a lot less and, and, you know, just continue on with my life. I'm always cognizant. I'm always aware of what's happening. I know what's going on, but, um, it makes things more normal for, for me. It makes things for no, more normal for him. And I would definitely rather do things that way for, uh, for sure. The other thing, um, and if you're watching this, like you already know, um, is that uh, I made the decision to split the timeline. And um, I think that that is a, honestly a pretty good choice, regardless of what, if this would have happened to Kepler, because um, the Japan vlogs are really complicated. And, uh, you know, Chaz is the one who, was, who suggested it to me. I was like, you know, it would not be a terrible idea to try and stay caught up and then 
release the Japan logs as you as you can. And I agree with that. And it's it's not like the other timeline split we did. It's not like things are six months behind. It's simply us recognizing that you know the Japan trip is kind of like the, its own little isolated thing. It doesn't impact other stuff. We can release it at any time, and um, it's only two weeks worth of vlogs that we can that we have to come back and, and deal with. So, um, it it's very much not a big deal to me. Like it it makes sense to me, um, and given the circumstances with Kepler, I think it makes even more sense because I want people to know what's going on. So if you're like, why on earth did you jump ahead? That's why. Um, I'm going to try and focus on keeping the vlogs caught up. And then as I'm able, I will release uh, the old, those videos. It's, it's two weeks worth of videos. It's, it's not even that much stuff. So hopefully that explains that. You're sweet. You're sweet. I've just been in here um, editing, working on stuff. And uh, at, at some point, I I just kind of felt like he was in here, and I looked down on the floor, and he was just laying there asleep. And uh, I kept an eye on him, and then I went back to work, and then at some point I looked over, and he was still sleeping, and then all of a sudden his eyes opened up, and he did a big stretch, and he looked up at me, and I said, hi, bud, and he blinked, and then he laid his head back down and went back to sleep. You're up now, though. Mm-hmm. You're up now. Good boy. That's exactly where I thought he would be. He's probably going to be there for the whole stream. That's normally what he does. Judgment. So, um... I am Croco slash Punchinello, because they both have the same color scheme. We'll go with Punchinello. But they got the little box. I, I can't believe this. This is I, so great. Yeah, these were a last-second edition, too. I woke up this morning, I was like, this outfit's missing something. Um, this shirt also has an adventure, but I'm just going to tell it on the stream, so if you want to know the story, uh, go watch the stream. Because there is... I wanted to do anything but actually buy uh, dye. And I did it, because it used to be this color. Uh, but yeah, do you like this like cross-promotion? Where I'm like getting people to check You've, you've done it. You've cracked the code. That's what it takes. I am very impressed. I had a feeling you were going to do Punchinello. I, but also, Haley had told me that she was working on something, and then suddenly she was like, wait, I can't do green. Yeah, I was going to be a mole because uh, mm. Brittany had given me those, um, gr the, the, like, the coveralls. Yeah. I already had, like, I was like, yes, and I'm at the store, and I'm picking out a brown shirt, and I'm like, well, there aren't a lot, but this is pretty close. This is going to look so great, and I'm only going to have to buy one thing. And then I remembered, oh, green. But the thing <laughs> is, like, for my outfits, I, I'm, I guess I'm calling them, like, cos closet cosplays because they're mm -hmm. more, like, wearable clothes, and also I don't just want to, like, buy stuff for a costume that I then th immediately throw into a landfill. <laughs> um, so I go to thrift stores and, you know pick things out so that's where this shirt came from and this one and then I decided the color wasn't right and I wanted to dye it and it's a really good story about <laughs> chaotic crafting so you should really check out this I don't know when it's going to be uploaded I assume by now yeah by the time they see this vlog so go to Stephen Vod and that's Stephen with a PH and then you can uh, hear the story it's a really good story I don't know how far we're going to get tonight. Um, clearly, we're going to get to Punchinello. Yeah, I figured that we'd at least be there. But I don't know how much further. We'll see. We got the guide. We can't get lost. <laughs> Hi, pal. Good. Oh, goodness. Oh, little baby. Always so happy. Such a happy cat. Always has been. Just happy to be around. We're happy to have you. I'm trying to get them to come downstairs and, and just cuddle on the couch with me. Want to come downstairs? If I sit here, he'll crawl into my lap and then I can just carry him downstairs. I'm trying. It's hard, right? Because, like, I could just pick him up and take him downstairs and, like, I can. I'm trying not to do, 
like anything that would make him go, wait, what's happening? You know, I'm trying to keep him calm. And like, I'm sure the truth is somewhere in between. I probably have a little more free, like leeway with that than I, than I think. But, um, but like, I don't know. And the, the big thing is that, um, I'm not going to really be comfortable until he sees his vet. I think I talked about it earlier, but Mel, Mel called and made an appointment. So we have an appointment, but like until we get to that point, until, you know, his personal vet sees him and we talk about what their options are and like what, um, medications and stuff he needs to stay on. And like, I, until then there's just, there is still this air of uncertainty and I'm super grateful that he's here and I'm super grateful that he is largely acting normal. That's cool. I love that. But it is still like, you know, there's so much we don't know. So, um, stream went well, stream went really, really well. Me and Haley, um, played through Moleville and, um, Booster Tower. We stopped at Marymore. Um, always really fun to stream with her. Um, the and those Mario RPG streams are great because the, there's the 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 game itself is fun, and like us getting the chance to experience the remade version of that. But then also, you know, Haley <laughs> doing special outfits is just I don't know. It's very much icing on cake. So they're very fun streams for people, and they continue to be pretty elusive. Um, you know, they're, they're happening on average like every three months or something. So it's going to take us a while to beat the game at this rate. Um, throughout the stream, I kept an eye on, on Kep. Most of the stream, he likes to sit in the little office chair right there. He spends a lot of time there. So he's there for a lot of the stream. So I was able to just keep an eye on him. And then there was a few times where he moved. And um, I get up like two different times during the stream. And I'd make sure that I found where he was and... But, you know, everything I've seen today, he's been okay. And it's it's hard. It's so hard because I know that that can change. And I'm, I'm so diligent. And part of that diligence is, is worry, you know. Because um, I've, you know, I've made peace with the fact that he won't be around forever. Like, I get that. But also, I am trying to maximize the amount of time that he's here. So it's... um. It's a hard balance because I'm I'm trying to pay attention, you know. Doing the best I can. I also want to kind of a, I don't know if apologize is the right word for this, but I I just want to acknowledge and recognize that like the last how many vlogs five three days God it feels like it's been three weeks the last three days of vlogs or whatever have been like extremely difficult extremely emotionally difficult. Like, not for me. I mean, yes, for me, but, like, for y'all. Um, I'm sure that there's plenty of you that noped out and, and are, like, waiting for, you know, happier things to try and get back on the train. And, and like, I, I understand that. Um, <laughs> this, you know, one of the difficult realities of doing a project like this is that, like, this is my life, you know, I'm going to be talking about things that can sometimes be difficult and um we're in a we're in a weird spot, right? I'm trying to not be I'm trying to not be sad. I'm I'm trying to just, you know, approach this with the this mindset of like, you know, we got past this difficult hump, he's still here. We, you know, we've made peace with the fact that it won't be forever. We will do everything we can in the meantime, but then otherwise just like you know, I'm not going to sit around and, and be sad and, and upset about it. I'm just going to try and enjoy the fact he's here. So, yeah, I'm talking about you. Little stinker. You just looked over at me. Hey. Hey. <sighs> okay. Um... I know these vlogs have all been really long too. <laughs> I've, 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 I've really taken the opportunity to just ramble and I don't care. 
Um, it's, it's a kind of a, like a doorway into how I'm feeling. The vlog is essentially a, a diary. So I'm going to, I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, I'm going to try and get them downstairs and just cuddle with him for a while tonight. That would be really nice. And then get some sleep, try and get to bed on at a better time. So I'm not up at weird hours. Mal gets back tomorrow, but she doesn't get back tomorrow until late, really late. Um, tomorrow's Mal's birthday. Um, it's also Dan's birthday. Mal won't be here to celebrate, so we're going to have to do her birthday another time. But Dan's going to be around. Dan wants to do some dinner tomorrow. And I think I can do that. Like, I can't hang out after, but based on spending the day with Kepler and seeing how he's doing, I think that I could, I think I could be gone for an hour. I think that would be fine. You know, I slept, I slept overnight, you know, I spent a lot in, in the bed and I wasn't watching him every hour or whatever, you know, so I think he'll be okay. I can't watch him every single hour of every day. There's going to be times I'm not around or I'm asleep. Um, I'm going to give him as much attention as I can, but I th think I should be okay to to step out tomorrow to have a birthday dinner with Dan, and then I'll come back. Thanks for watching. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? <laughs>